Hello, my crafty friends. This is Mary. You're watching Cards TV. Today we're going to make the second card in the little set of four cards that I'm making just to have something a little extra on hand for an uh, extra Christmas gift for somebody. This was card number one, and I've been using the Teddy Bear Parade cartridge. I'm just crazy about this cartridge. It is so cute. But this was the first card. So today we're going to use the Teddy Bear Parade again for card number two. And for our sentiment, we'll be using one of my Cards TV stamp sets. This set is called Facts, Frequently Asked Questions. And they all are questions. And the question that we're going to put on today's card is, what's cooking? So we're going to use a white card base. And this is four and a quarter by five and a half. This is a landscape style card. We'll be adding a black mat to this first. And this is four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And I'll use my ATG gun to get this added to the front of the card. Now we've got this pretty blue plaid layer. And this is from Die Cuts with a View. And this is four by five and a quarter. We'll add this next. I really like the way just that little bit of black around the edge helps this blue pop right off that white card base. Now, next we have two more layers. We have another black mat. And this is three and a half by four and three quarters. And on top of that, we're going to add this cute little blue and white that looks like a tablecloth. This is also from Die Cuts with a View. And I took some Memento Tuxedo Black ink and went ahead and stamped my sentiment, What's Cooking, right up here in this corner. We're going to adhere these together, and then I have a little white border that I'm going to add to this. And then this will go right here in the center of the card. So let's go ahead and get these put together. Now we've got our base all ready, and we're going to add that little border on here. I love this little white border. It kind of reminds me, once again, of a tablecloth. And I punch this out. My uh, cardstock is 3 quarters of an inch by 4 and 5 eighths inches. We're going to add this right down here. And I use this new punch I got. This is an EK Success Punch called Dotted Scallop. And I picked this up at Walmart. I was real happy to find that. It's a really cute little punch. So we'll go ahead and get this added, and then we'll put our image on. This is a very quick little card. Now, have you guessed what image I'm going to use since I'm talking about tablecloths and what's cooking? <laughs> We're going to use the Little Chef Bear out of the Teddy Bear Parade cartridge. Isn't he cute? And Let me show you where he is. He's going to go on the front just like that. Let's see. We've got one column. He's in the second column right here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's the eighth cut down right there. Now you'll go ahead and put your bear together. That's right up here. And then you dress your bear. You just pick an outfit. And this is the little chef. And you cut the background out of black which makes his little trousers and the bottom of the little serving dish he's carrying. The next layer is white, and that's his little chef's coat and the top of his chef's hat. The next layer is gray, which makes the band for his chef's hat and the cuffs on his little uh, coat and the top of the serving dish, and then his little red tie that's around his neck. I just think he's adorable. And all this was cut at three inches. And I've got him on two thicknesses of foam tape. We're going to add him to the front. And we're almost done. These little cards are so quick. You can just go ahead and cut out your bears and have them ready. And then you just make four little cuts for their outfit. And you can have a card put together in no time. Let's see. I get him just right.
and get him straight. And then I've got three little tiny black buttons. These are from Favorite Findings, and I get these at Joann's. And we're going to add these under our sentiment. I'm going to grab some glue dots and get these put on. And we'll come back and take one last look at this cute little card. Card number two in the four card set. Here's card number one and card number two. So we got three and four to go and we'll have our whole set finished. Thanks so much for watching. Glad you could stop by today, guys. I'll see you again soon. Bye now.